What's up guys, Skittle Rampage here. So today I'm bringing you more Funko News updates. A little bit of a mix up in shipping between Muichiro and Green Ranger Shredder. A lot of people have been messaging me about that one. We also do have some restocks happening at Hot Topic of more of their exclusives, a few new Funko Pops announced, as well as some FYE sticker errors, large sticker errors I might add. So let's check it out. Hey everyone, today we do have some more Funko news for you, but before we jump into that, we do have our question of the day, and this one's going to be a little bit different. Basically, how are you guys doing? Like, how is everybody doing? How are you doing at home? How are you doing at work? How are you doing mentally, if you wanna share that? I am genuinely curious overall how you guys are doing. I figured we'd, you know, step away from the Funko Bop questions daily and everything. I just, I wanna know how you guys are doing. Truthfully, I do care about you guys, and I do wanna let you guys know if anybody's experiencing any kind of stress, or you need to talk, you can always reach out to me. It doesn't have to just be about Funko Pop. Feel free to reach out to me on Instagram and my Facebook Messenger through the Facebook group. If you guys are having a hard time, feel free to reach out to me. One more thing, we do have a video sponsor today and that is the Whatnot app. If you don't know what Whatnot is yet, then you're gonna learn today. It's a live auction platform where you can buy and sell your favorite Funko Pops. Maybe you're looking for something rare or vaulted or something that's super expensive you can't find elsewhere. Whatnot may have it, so you might wanna sign up today using my link down below and that'll get you a free $10 if you're a new user. Another really great thing about whatnot is you can actually see your items live. So if you're always worried about condition or if you're someone who really, really likes your boxes in mint condition, the seller can actually show you the item live so you know exactly what you're getting versus listings on other sites where it's a hit or miss. They may even send you a damaged pop, who knows? And speaking of whatnot, I do want to let you guys know that I am actually having another live auction this coming Friday, which is September 2nd. I will be live at 7 p.m. EST. You can also use that link down below to go over to my page and bookmark the live. We'll have a bunch of anime, we'll have some rare stuff, we'll have some grails, we'll have a bunch of giveaways for you guys as always. So make sure to bookmark my show today and I hope to see you Friday. All right, let's jump into our news. So first up, we do have some updates from FYE. If you ordered Charmander, you might have noticed that it did not come with that SDCC sticker and it looks like they were having a lot of stock issues there and you've noticed lately we've had a lot of sticker issues, whether it's the con, whether it's shared at the stores constant sticker issues. Now basically the letter that did just show you was just them kind of apologizing for the situation and saying that the best way to rectify the situation of people who already received theirs in the mail, they would also send the stickers to that same address. So if you ordered one online and it did not receive a sticker, make sure to look out in your mail for little sticker replacements. Now funny enough, where they resolved the sticker issue, here's another sticker issue with FYE. As you can see, shared from Funko Pop News and Andrew H over on Facebook, this employee or some employee or some manager somehow approved or okayed this process where they put giant FYE stickers over on Charmanders in a store. I don't know who thought this was okay. I don't know who thought this made sense, but this is so weird. I have never seen something like this. And when I tell you guys, when I saw this, I let out the biggest laugh. I was like, what is happening? Why do they even have stickers that big? So yeah, I don't, I don't know exactly what happened with this one, but I wanted to share with you guys. It was just too hilarious to not share. And I won't lie, I'm almost tempted to go to my local FYA. It's worth the trip to see if I can pick up one of these because it's just so funny. And this is something you would want to own in your collection. It's just hilarious. Quick update on Fully Holified Ichigo. The other day I did talk about him being delayed. Delayed. However, the first wave is not delayed like I thought it was. You guys were letting me know. So basically, this is how I made the mistake. If you look over in your orders tab, it will actually say ETA January, and it kind of scared me for a second. I was like, why would the ETA be January? How is it that delayed? However, if you go to the actual listing and scroll down, it does tell you the ETA for first wave, which is the following. Please note, orders placed before July 20th, so July 19th and before, will fill in October 2022. So anything ordered on July 19th and before will be fulfilled in October. That's when you will get your pop. Luckily, I ordered exactly on July 19th. So anything ordered after that will be coming in January because it is second wave. So I wanted to clear that up for any confusion and sorry about making that little error. Now for anybody wanting to order these two new Naruto exclusives, Young Kakashi and Killer B, I do wanna let you know that Young Kakashi is still in its first wave pre-order phase. However, Killer B has 
moved on to its second wave of pre-orders. So second wave of pre-orders are going to arrive in February of 2023, which is a little bit of a longer wait. Now something else you can do just in case you missed the first wave of pre-orders the other day and maybe you just came across it, is that all of the companies you normally order chase bundles for, in roughly around 28, 29 days, they will actually have their chase bundles available because usually with Entertainment Earth exclusives, there's a 30 day rule where you can't sell their exclusive until that 30 day time limit is up basically. So again, in about a month's time, you will see all of these other companies offering chase bundles or six packs or whatever that will still be in that first wave. So if you don't wanna to have to wait until February, you can definitely look forward to that. And speaking of Killer B, here we do have closer in-person looks from Entertainment Earth at their newest exclusive. So as you can see, we do have the chase and regular there and the regular dancing and then the chase version, he does actually have the pen and his notebook. Now I do agree with a lot of people saying that this is a lazy chase because let's face it, it is. It's just the hands are different basically in holding something. A lot of different things they could have done with this character and you know, like one, not including a chase because not everything needs a chase these days. But two, like a lot of people mentioned, maybe his swords or something else than just the notebook and put maybe a different action pose like I get it. I get why a lot of people are upset at the chase because there's so much more creativity that could have been put into it and it wasn't. But I do still think the chase makes sense because he always has his lyric book. A few updates from Hot Topic. We do have a couple more of their exclusives starting to restock in stores this week. We do have Asuma there from Naruto, the Dragon Ball Z Super Saiyan Goku uh, Diamond Collection with Kamehameha Wave. We also do have uh, Kuromi there as well as Eri and Eeyore there. So all of these exclusives are starting to hit stores again. So if you need any of them, make sure to be following your local Hot Topic on Instagram because they'll post when they have their stock. Another exclusive making its way to Hot Topic stores is Scar with Hyenas. Disney fans get excited. Make sure to head over to your local Hot Topics. Some are getting in low stock, some are getting in a ton. So again, check with your local stores and let me know if you guys are going to be picking up this one. I thought Bailey would want this one, but she's actually passing on it. I think it looks awesome, but you know, I don't collect a lot of Disney. Also, if you ordered this one online, that means it should be shipping soon if it has not started shipping already. Here we finally have an update on one of the newest Attack on Titan exclusives, Aaron Harden, the Hot Topic exclusive. So here's an out of box photo here uh, shared from my Discord, and thank you to that member JPL. We do have Aaron Hardened. So this is an out of box look. You can see the crystal like detail on him, as well as the little ridges all around him, kind of like basically crystallizing into the floor a little bit over the base stand. I do agree with a lot of people saying that the base stand should have just been entirely crystal, but I think they were just going for that rock ground approach. So I don't really love or hate the base stand. I'm kind of just neutral about it. However, one thing I'm really glad about is that they made this really translucent because if you look at the original glam, we weren't so sure it was gonna be translucent. Now, as far as getting this exclusive, if you ordered it online, I did see some orders that are starting to ship out and some even arriving tomorrow. So if you ordered it online, make sure to stay tuned this week because you could be getting a shipping notification very soon. As far as in store, it's starting to hit stores over in the West Coast, I think, and then it's slowly making its way over to the Midwest and then making its way to the East Coast as well. So, just be patient over the next week or two. So as you know, Funkon 2 this year wasn't exactly a great situation, and we've talked about it multiple times in multiple videos. But here we have one more new issue that's happening. What I mean by that is I've gotten an influx of messages of people either ordering Muichiro and getting Green Ranger Shredder or ordering Green Ranger Shredder and getting Muichiro. Now here's the kicker about the situation. Both of those exclusives are sold out. They don't have any available to be able to fix these order situations. And this has happened multiple times, whether it was my Facebook group, Instagram, Twitter, in my Discord they were having issues. So they're either offering you a refund or nothing basically because they cannot fix your order. They don't have the stock. So imagine going through the stress of getting these exclusives on the website going through the stress of shipping, trying to track your package, and getting irritated from that just to finally get your order, and it's wrong, and they can't even fix it. Another thing to keep in mind is the aftermarket prices. Not everybody can afford to pay triple, quadruple, five times the original price that people are selling these exclusives for, like Muicho, for example, where he's around a $70 to $90 pop right now when you originally paid $22 after shipping and tax. That's a huge price difference. And if it was a one-time thing, okay, sure, things happen, logistics get messed up all the time. However, this has happened multiple times. How do you mess up to this extent? Another one of my Discord members, Slithetti, did actually have another problem. He ordered a Jimi Hendrix soda and received a shredder. So he received someone else's order. He didn't order a shredder and he got 
shredder instead of a soda. How do you mix up a Funko soda and a Funko Pop? They're not even the same kind of vinyl figure. They have, they look completely different. I don't understand how that gets messed up. I have no idea what is going on at Funko's warehouse, but it is a mess over there, I am sure. I do not know how you mix up these orders like this. I don't know what to say anymore about this event. It was such a mess from the beginning. Like, this is crazy. All right, moving on, because I could go on and on about that subject and how horrible Funko 2 was. We do have a first out-of-box look at Scarlet Witch versus Agatha. Now this is a Target exclusive here, and this one actually turned out pretty cool. The base stand, a lot of people are, you know, kind of struggling with understanding the detail there, and it does look a little weird, I will say. However, I still think Wanda's pop and um, Agatha's pop and the, like, basically beams of magic at each other, I think it turned out pretty well, and I still think this will be a really good seller, and I'm sure I'm going to have to try to find this one for Bailey if she didn't actually try to order it. I don't know. I don't know if she ordered it. I gotta go ask her. And I do believe this was an overseas variant, so the Target exclusive one should still be a little bit farther out for shipping. Also for Marvel, here we do have kind of a new Black Panther Funko Pop, kind of not so new. So taking a look at this shared from Dish Trackers, we do have this Black Panther Pop from Civil War with a changed box and they added three different stickers for some reason. I have no idea. Now this will be a giveaway at the A's game on September 10th. So if you're attending that game, you can get a free Funko Pop just for showing up essentially. I have no idea how much stock they're going to have, but given it's that Civil War Pop, they probably have a surplus of stock. And it has a bunch of different stickers if you like stickers. For anybody who's interested in the gingerbread Marvel characters, we do have a new four pack over at Walmart available for pre-order right now. And it is showing a November 5th ETA. And this one does actually glow in the dark. It's a little unclear which exact pop is going to glow in the dark, but I'm assuming maybe it's uh, Iron Man or Thor. But there's also a Captain America gingerbread glow in the dark pop going around, but I think that's a separate exclusive. So I have no idea which one glows, but if you want to pre-order it, it's available right now. For any dog fans or fans of these specific movies, we do have two new Funko Shop exclusives coming later in the year. We do have Toto and Basket from The Wizard of Oz. That's actually pretty cool. I, I kind of like that one. I haven't seen that movie in ages. As well as we do have Einstein there, kind of standing on, I think it's a radio if I'm not mistaken. So again, both of these are Funko Shop exclusives, and there's no exact ETA as to when they're going to go live on the Funko Shop, but I'll keep you guys updated. Now lastly, we did get some brand new Funko Pops from the show, The Sopranos here. So we do have four different commons there, as well as a Funko Shop exclusive and an Amazon exclusives. The commons are set to come out in November, and the Amazon exclusive set to come out in December 27th, currently still available for pre-order if you do want to pick it up. As far as the Funko Shop, very similar to the dog exclusives, it'll come at a later date, probably closer to these releases or right before their releases. So I would say give it another like two months and we could see that exclusive. Anyways though, again, if you do want to pre-order them, I'll drop a link down below for you guys. Well guys, that's everything that I have to share with you today. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you did enjoy, make sure to hit that like button down below. If you guys have any other questions about anything, feel free to drop them down below as well and I'll do my best to answer them. But with that, I do want to say a big shout out to all my Patreon supporters. Thank you guys so much. I really do appreciate your love and support. If you guys want to check out the Patreon, the link is down below. We do have a Patreon only Discord where we share a lot of information, news, restocks, links, updates, and more. We also do have a Facebook group with over 14,000 members. That's buy, sell, and trade. And make sure to be following me on all my social medias, all at Skittle Rampage for more updates. All right. Love you guys. See you guys in the next one. See you guys later. Bye.